You every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us great advice for do-it-yourself home improvements. Today, he talks about picking the perfect gifts for Mother's Day. Well, Mother's Day is just one week away, and I know a lot of people struggle. And they listen to what is mom saying, what is grandma saying. You know what, just because mom says she wishes she had a new sump pump doesn't mean that a sump pump is a good gift. Just because you hear mom talking about deer eating her prized uh, peonies doesn't mean deer repellent's a good idea. You have to think. Some, but there's some great gardening items for mom in garden centers and other stores. So, also moles. Moms complain about moles. Don't get the mole spikes. Those are not good gifts. So, a few little good things. Certainly gardening gloves. Gardening gloves, very personal, make a nice gift for mom or grandma. This is, a, uh, this is called a plant nanny. This is kind of a fun little thing. You take this spike and you drive it down inside the pot, fill a wine bottle with uh, water like that. So maybe you pair that with a bottle of nice wine and the plant nanny, get a little combo gift. Mom asked for a uh, watering can, an adorable frog watering can is a great gift. The $2 plastic one is not a good gift. Gardenware, huge, huge, whether it's hats, beautiful hats for mom, and uh, I might say the chicken pattern is very in this year in sloggers and in boots. So very nice. Yeti continues to be popular, and now they're coming out with new stuff. Yeti has come out with different colors. They've got some of the, uh, some of the logos. They've got Butler and uh, Purdue so far. IU still waiting on. But there's also other brands. This is Corksicle, and uh, some of the ladies like the colors of Corksicle a little better than they like the Yeti. So nice gifts. And garden tools. Dicey. You have to be careful with garden tools. The garden weasel, that is not a good gift. It's a good tool, but not a good gift. You'll be paying for that for years and years. But a very personal, you know, uh, gardening tools like this, this is the new radius with a uh, nice ergonomically designed handle. Those are very nice. You can get away with those. There goes the garden weasel. Plants, of course, number one. Hanging baskets. Maybe you want to do a little theme thing. Maybe your mom's a race fan. You can get black petunias, some uh, white accent plants, nice planter, race flag, boom! Mom's got a nice gift. And, of course, number one is hanging baskets. Hanging baskets, I mean, people come into the garden centers by the hundreds for hanging baskets. So buying a nice hanging basket, but you have to think about it. Is it in the sun? Is it in the shade? Does mom even have a place to hang a hanging basket? Do you ever notice your hanging basket sitting on the ground later in the season? So you can do other things. You know, personalizing it by buying a nice piece of pottery. And this is very simple. You buy a nice hanging basket, get some potting soil, boom. Now look at that. Look at the planter you have. Now, here's what I would recommend for mom. Take the hanger off, okay? The hanger's got to go. Happy Mother's Day. Great ideas there.